back to Becoming Better Together. I'm your host, Bree. Let's get started. Today, what I want to talk about is what is giving you energy and what is possibly taking it away. And so a lot of times I get asked, how do I maintain motivation? How do I maintain momentum? Some days I feel like doing activities and other days not so much. And so a lot of times we need to look and we need to kind of discover what's going on in the days that you don't feel like doing the activities that we get in the shoulds. I know I should be showing up and prospecting. I know I should be picking up the phone. I know I should be posting content. And yet when I sit myself down to do it, sometimes, some days, I just don't feel like it. I'm just not in the mood. Have you ever been that person? If so, let's think about maybe what has led there and how to overcome this so that we feel better more often than not. And so then when we show up to do our activities, we feel good and we're gonna actually move the needle and act. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to getting yourself to act, we can do it when we don't feel good. It takes a lot of willpower. However, if you can get yourself to just feel that energy and that momentum and feel like moving forward and feel the good results that are gonna come after you do the activity, but feel them ahead of time and give yourself energy, you're much more likely to act. You're going to enjoy the process and enjoy the journey instead of just waiting until you get the end result, waiting until you get that destination, waiting until you get that raise, waiting until you finally get to go on the trip you've always wanted to go on because you can afford it. A lot of times we postpone celebrating the journey along the way and we wait to celebrate the win. That can be extremely draining. It can burn you out really, really fast. And I have done that before myself. I have done that many times. <laughs> and so what I have learned is that it matters each and every day what we are consuming and what we're putting into us, both in our bodies, what we eat, but also what we are mentally consuming, what we're listening to, what we, who we are surrounding ourselves with. All of that matters because as a human, as you just live your life, you are consuming all the time. Whether it's on your phone right now, again, the things you eat, the things you see, the people you see, all of it, it's consumption. And when it comes to us feeling good or bad, our consumption has everything to do with it. So it's not just what you're physically putting in your body, but it's the mental consumption that matters so, so, so much. And so if somebody asks me usually, how do you maintain motivation? And what do I do when I just don't feel like it? We actually usually go back a little bit and start to notice patterns. Okay, what is sending you down the days where you don't feel good versus the days where you're on fire and you're unstoppable. And so if this is you and you're like, yeah, I definitely go through these phases. I have waves of amazing action, amazing momentum. And then suddenly one day I wake up and I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. My confidence is on the floor. Like I just, I just don't feel good. And so if you've gone through these cycles, know first you are very normal. We go through cycles. We go through stages. The goal is to learn what is putting us in certain cycles so that we can have mastery over some of our emotions, some of our energy, some of our moods a little better so that we can maintain higher performance, right? We want to, we want to make the million dollars. We want to get that raise at our job. We want to rank up if you're in an MLM, but sometimes our actions don't always meet those wants and desires. And so if we can, again, consume the right things that give us the right energy so that we can move ourselves forward, you're going to hit those goals a whole lot faster. And so today, for the theme of fall, since it's now officially a new season and change is good, we are doing fall-themed things inside the Facebook group Becoming Better Together the whole month of October. So if you do want to stop by and see that Facebook group and join in some fall fun for 31 days the whole month, I'm going to have a daily activity for everybody. That will be fun. That being said, that has nothing to do with this right now. What I want to talk about is in the theme of fall, think about your consumption of everything for the rest of the week. Again, who are you following on Instagram? Who are you watching on YouTube? What are you watching on TV after work? What are you reading? What podcasts are you listening to? What people are you hanging out? And I want you to categorize them because things can either give us energy or they can drain it away from us. And so for the theme of fall and Halloween, who are your energy vampires? What is actually just sucking the energy, the life, the momentum right from you? Even if it's someone that you love, even if it's something you love, is the TV at the end of the night taking away from you? Or 
is it your favorite Halloween candy? And I want you to take yourself back in time like a little kid. So sugar crashes aside, pick out your favorite candy here. Something that when you were a child and you would get this, it would give you superpowers. It would give you all the energy in the world. Me, I loved pixie sticks. And so my categories are, is this an energy vampire or is this a pixie stick? And is it going to give me my energy superpowers and make me feel incredible so that I could go as a kid and just run off and do whatever I wanted, right? So don't worry about the sugar crashes, but mentally, that's what I want you to filter things through for the rest of the week as you're looking at, okay, I'm going to put things as I experience my days in my life so that I can figure out patterns. I'm going to put them in categories, energy vampires or energy candy, right? Something that's going to fill us up, give us energy and move us forward. And what you'll notice if you start to track this again, if you start to notice your energy is down compared to where it was when you started, maybe you were tired and that's why you started the scroll, but now you're feeling even worse. Uh oh, there's maybe something in your feed. Maybe it's Instagram itself. Maybe there are, again, figure out, okay, this isn't giving me energy. This isn't candy. This isn't sugar right now. This is taking something from me. It's a vampire. And then we ask why, what is it? Is it making me feel comparison and conflict and, or, or I don't know. What is it that is going to be the thing taking energy from you? Same thing with what you eat. It does matter. And so notice your patterns the rest of the week. How did I feel after eating blank? How did I feel after I skipped breakfast versus ate breakfast? How did I feel having pre-workout in the morning versus having it in the evening and maybe not sleeping as well? You will notice patterns as time goes on once you start to categorize things this way. Giving energy, taking it away, and it matters. Think about your social circle next, the people you hang out with. Do they give you energy or are they vampires? And sometimes the people we love most and we can't help, but we have to spend time with them. Sometimes our family members, some of our very best friends, they can be energy vampires and it's not their fault. They don't know that they're doing this to you, but you know very well right now as you're listening to this, you know that person that's always complaining it's a victim that you just desperately want to help and you've been friends probably for years. Maybe it's your, maybe it's a family member. Again, it's your parent that is just doom and gloom and woe is me. And by the time you're done talking to them, one, you've had a whole session of therapy and two, now you feel doom and gloom and they've, they just spilled all their fears and worries and anxieties on you. And suddenly you're thinking, oh man, maybe the world is going, you know, to hell in a handbasket. Maybe they're right. And suddenly, again, your energy went from up here, I'm going to call my best friend, to on the floor. That is an energy vampire. And sometimes we have to learn to set boundaries away from those energy vampires so that we can have more of the candy in our life. We can have more of the fun. We can have more of the things that really fill our cups up. Because each day, you really start with a, you start with a full cup every day. And slowly, depending on what we consume and what we give our energy to, the cup the water, the whatever it is in your cup, the liquid goes down. But the next day you get to start with a new cup again. Make sure that you're pouring your liquid into the right places, into the things that, again, are going to help refill you, that are going to help give you a full cup tomorrow, and that you're not pouring all of your water up, out in places it shouldn't be, spending time with people that are just taking so much more from you than they are giving back to you. And slowly your full cup doesn't start full at the next day. Sometimes we start down a little bit. And if you continue that and that becomes your pattern, your capacity as a human just to give and just to receive and to love and to experience life, your capacity shrinks as you give everything else away to everybody else. And so make sure you are making good decisions with your energy and really noticing again, which category are these things fitting in? My work, my career, the people I hang out with the foods I eat, the music I listen to. This is a big one for me. I I was a, like a rock music, kind of a screamo fan growing up, surprisingly. People usually don't <laughs> see that in me, but I was I was like an emo kid and I went to Warped Tour and I was one of those for years. And I listened to the, like the angry music. I liked it, I really did. And so it wasn't until I got into mindset that I was like, well, let me start listening to these lyrics and see what's really going on and just seeing the, the themes behind everything. It was very dark, very angry. And it makes sense that it could put you in a better mood, but more more times than not, it would drain energy from me. It was a vampire. And so my music taste has definitely changed and transitioned since I've gotten into personal development. And I can still respect and appreciate the talent in those bands, but 
I do not actively choose to listen to that at all anymore because I've played this game, the Pixie Sticks versus the Vampires. It is a vampire to me. I can, again, still respect that music, but I'm not going to actively choose it because I know that my energy gets depleted afterwards. So if this is something that you want to kind of audit in your life, this is your chance to do so. Use this fun little theme, sometimes too, just pretending it's a little cartoon vampire <laughs> as you're categorizing things can make it seem a little less harsh when it is somebody that you truly love that you have to now realize, maybe I need to put a boundary up because they really are taking more from me than they are giving me and that's not fair. And so it is a good moment of growth for you to be able to put up a boundary sometimes and learn that maybe you just need to rotate the conversations away from whatever topic you guys are on. And maybe they can become more of a pixie stick to you if it is that person that you love and care about. It's just getting creative about it. But number one, being aware. And so raise your awareness this week. That's my homework for you. Go through and just audit the things again. Look for patterns. What is giving me energy? What is taking it away? Because if you have more energy, you feel better, you want to do things, guess what? Your business is going to have more success because of it. You're going to be in a much happier place. You're going to enjoy the journey so much more instead of just waiting until we get to that destination. And life is a ride. It really is. We need to enjoy each and every day. And we hear that all the time. But are you truly stopping to be present and really like the things you're doing every day? If you're not, this is a great, great time to do that audit and really start to become aware, noticing yourself what is helping you versus what is taking things away. And it's too short. We're not here long enough to just live in deficit all the time where our cup isn't full. We can't give to others. We are just emotionally, mentally depleted. I have been there before. If I can spare you guys from that by raising some awareness, let's do that. And so please, that's my ask for you today. Do the life audit. Notice your patterns, look for candy, look for vampires, and then have a list for yourself and just become more aware so that you can start to actively choose where and how you want to focus your time and energy. We only have so much each day. Let's use it wisely. That's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for listening. If you do want to stop by the Becoming Better Together group on Facebook, we are doing fun activities for the entire month of October so that we can have more presence. We can have a little bit more fun in each and every day and they don't have to feel so monotonous. So join us there. I look forward to seeing you then. I will see you next time.